Good afternoon guys, Dippin' Diesel back with my 1965 Dodge D500. As you guys just saw, we took off the front grill and we're gonna be painting it today. We're gonna be sanding it down, primering it, base painting it, and clear coating it. But like I said, we're gonna be working back on the 1965 today. Um, got a little primer, got a little paint, and got some gloss. Got some 80 grit, sand it down with 80. 120 it primer it see if there's any higher low spots sand it down i don't have anything higher I actually do have 400 over there then we'll prime it again and then base coat it a couple times and then clear it and then we'll go ahead and throw it back on the truck i'm not sure if this video is going to be all today because it is supposed to rain it doesn't look like it now but it's supposed to start raining at 12 and it's 10 o'clock now so i have two hours to do this stuff out here if i have to i'll head underneath the carport but that's where we're at today. We're going to be trying to restore the front grill back to white. And eventually we'll go ahead and do the bumper. I just have to figure out a way to bend this bumper back. So you can see it's bent up a little bit. I'm thinking just attach a chain to it. Attach the back of the chain to my truck or something. And then get a come along and just tighten it and try to bend it back. Or just go ahead and push it up against a tree or something. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think the best way to bend that back is i know you could probably add heat and bend it back like that but my little torch isn't going to do that so i feel like i'm rambling on let's just go ahead jump right into sanding this grill down Instead of sanding, every time I do something, I when I'm going to sand paint off of something, I'm always like, oh, I should have bought aircraft remover or paint stripper. Well, instead of trying to strip all that paint off of that grill with sandpaper, I'm just gonna go ahead to the auto parts store right up here, the hardware store, and get some paint stripper. That's one thing, and I also need to get some rust treatment. That's another thing. There's a little bit of rust on there. If I go ahead and spray that rust treatment on the rust, wait 15 minutes and it should turn nice and black and that's how you know the rust is taken care of. Wipe it down and then go ahead and spray your primer. It's gonna save me a lot of time to get that paint stripper, so I'm going to the hardware store. We'll be back at the house shortly. Our paint guy, Mike, was coming by to check out the truck for the first time. He said he liked it. Um, started up for him, started up pretty good. Um, he's kind of crazy. He likes thinking about all this stuff and just envisioning paint stuff be done to trucks and all the body work and everything like that. But I went ahead and picked up some paint stripper. This is the only one that they had at the store. They didn't have any aircraft, but this will probably do. And also some rust treatment because I started sanding this down about five minutes in. I was like, I'm not dealing with sanding this down. So we're gonna go ahead and spray this. He also gave me some tips when using this. We're gonna use paint stripper. He said to wash down the part that you're using the paint stripper with soap and water after you get done one or two times to get all that paint stripper off. So when you go ahead and lay your actual paint down, it doesn't want to bubble up and and the paint stripper removes the paint that you just applied to it. So we're gonna go ahead and spray this with the paint remover, paint stripper. First time using this product, I'm not sure how it's gonna go. So let's go ahead and get this thing done before it rains, and then we'll be spraying some paint soon. Look at that, it's already working. It's already bubbling up that paint. A lot easier than sanding it. Let me tell you what.
bam so there it is guys that is the freshly painted uh front grill like i said yesterday i knew it was going to rain so i had to do it inside lighting wasn't the best so i didn't really film too much of what i was doing but basically i went ahead got that paint stripper stripped off all the paint i went ahead and primed it i made a mistake and didn't sand it after i paint stripped it because there was still a little bit of paint on there so i had to re-sand it back down prime it again spray it with the white and i think it looks pretty good it's not the best i'll be the first one to mention that it's not the best but it does look a lot better than it did before same color white as the bumper and now it looks 10 times better. You gotta stand 10 feet back so you don't notice all the imperfections, but it does look good. It does look a lot better than it did before. And uh, I'm happy with it, you know, painting it at my house. It, basically my front yard, I had to go in the side, the side room to actual, actually paint it because it, it was raining. But, you know, turned out pretty good for just using spray paint. Um, I messed up and actually got um, gloss white I saw a gloss on it, I thought it was gonna be clear. The cap was white, um, I'm just an idiot when I was at the store. So it doesn't have any gloss on there, it's just the gloss from the actual paint. Um, and I think it turned out pretty good because this isn't really that shiny. It was shiny before, it took off all the fading but it didn't stay shiny when I did the linseed oil. It still has the oil on there but it took away the fading. That's the main thing. I, I, it's an old truck, it's a 55 year old truck. It doesn't matter if it's shiny, I wanted to keep the original paint for now. And that linseed oil actually did a pretty good job. So it's a good thing that this grill isn't that shiny because it'll look kind of weird having a glossy grill and a non-glossy truck. You know, you guys get what I'm saying. So um, yeah, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. I, there wasn't too much. I'm gonna end this video out and start recording more so you guys have an episode for tomorrow. So guys, stay tuned. I post all my videos at two o'clock or try to post them at two o'clock. Um, Alabama time. Yeah, that's gonna do it guys. Thank you guys for watching Let me know what you guys think of the freshly painted grill. Go get some steel wool for that. We'll get some steel wool For this. I'm not sure if that's gonna be able to be saved. It's pretty rusted all those cab lights and they don't even work I don't even know how to turn them on. I would assume they turn on when you pull the lights But I actually do have to wire these back in these are my my running lights But I'm rambling on too much guys. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more videos on this Dodge D500 1965 55 year old truck. Appreciate you guys so much. We got a lot of love on the past couple videos with this truck and a lot of new subscribers. So welcome to the channel. If you guys are a new subscriber. Like this video if you guys did enjoy. I'll catch you in the next one. Dippin' Diesel out. Oh yeah, there it is.